So the trend we're looking at is really the convergence of, of several different factors, making it more amenable to solar power production. The key resource has always been there. It's not like Middle East or North Africa just suddenly became a desert. The potential for solar power has always been there. But the technology is now advancing to the point where we've seen significant cost decreases in recent years. And then we're also seeing demographic and demand pressures push up against existing power production in the region. So when you combine technological advancement the demand pressures in the region, together those two make it the right time, for lack of a better phrase, for solar power to start emerging in the region. So there's a couple of ways that countries can benefit from solar power. So we're not saying that solar power is going to replace hydrocarbon, so natural gas or oil generated power in the region. Um, but we do think it can act as a significant supplemental source to increase the energy security of uh, importing nations. So Jordan and Morocco would be two key countries to watch there. Morocco in particular, because not only do they stand to increase their own energy security, but they have the potential to become an electricity exporter um, once they develop some of their larger solar power plants. Saudi Arabia, where they can integrate solar power with their desalination capabilities, will decrease their domestic demand for petroleum products. And then we see Israel, a country we didn't discuss in the written article, but with uh, environment that supports innovation, they, they, they stand to be a country where we can see um, increased adoption of solar as well. Solar power, it's not just gonna magically start up and be integrated into the grid as much as that would be, be nice to think about. There are still several hurdles facing the technology itself. The sun doesn't always shine um, and you still need to generate power at night. So energy storage technologies, be it, be it battery technology or other energy storage technology needs to improve to better integrate solar power into the grid because it is a variable renewable resource. Um, durability of the technology also needs to be improved in the harsh um, conditions of the desert. You need to think about integrating it into the grid and transmission losses. So there's a lot of technological hurdles even though the price has come down and technology has improved until we see this extreme level of incorporation that many of the countries are seeking in their in their national goals and targets.